Hi, this is Chair Pilates. The date is July 22nd. And we're what, 100 and some days in? All right. So we're gonna do some squats, guys. Oh, it's July 14th. <laughs> Sorry. That's actually a big day in history for me. All right. So arms are going to reach forward. You're going to hinge at your hip socket. So your, body's, your butt's going to go back like so. And then you're going to lift up your abdominals and you're going to slowly take yourself down to the chair. And then you're going to lean forward and stand up. See, I don't even know what day it is. So <laughs> reach the arms, hinge at the hips. That'll shoot your sitting bones backwards towards the chair. Come on down, lean forward, stand up. Here we go. Again, let's do 10 of these. So as your bottom goes towards the, to the chair, lift up your abs here. So your abs go up as your hips come down. So a short story, July 14th will forever live in my memory. <laughs> uh, I worked at the uh, Chicago Board Options Exchange back in the 80s. And that was a record trading day. And I spent the next six months trying to clean up that mess, traveling back and forth to New York every week. I was an error specialist, trading error specialist. So it took me six months to clean up that mess and then come back up. Okay, I'm just gonna put my chair on my mat because it's sliding a little bit. All right, so I want you to lift up your right heel. Now, if you found that having both feet down was challenging enough for you, by all means, keep both feet down. But we're gonna start to lift this heel up so that you have to work a little bit harder on this side. All right, so same thing applies. The hips go back first. You start to sit down and then you stand up and sit. We're gonna do five here, 10 total. When you get to the fifth one, if you wanna try and do it with a single leg, you can, very different. So you're just gonna lift that foot up. You're gonna sit down. Down's not so bad, it's getting up. So if you need to put your foot down, all the way or just the toe, by all means, go ahead. Very different. We'll do five of these. So we're just advancing the exercise. You pick where you want to be. <laughs> One more. He doesn't like the tuck pointers outside. Sit, and stand. Last time here, sit and stand. Five more with the foot off the floor. The legs are gonna be different. Oh, and down, and up. Oh, I have to put my toe down to get up. Down, toe down, up. Two more, down, I'm sweating. Up, one more time, down, and up. Woo! Lift. 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 Press down. Arms come up. I'm going to turn on my air conditioner so we don't hear them um, drilling on the side. Down. Good. Give me a little side bend and a little side bend. One more time each way, a little side bend 
and a little side bend. Good. All right, go ahead and have a seat. We're going to go wide legs here. Hands on the forehead. You're going to work towards the um, thighs with the elbows. That doesn't mean you're going to get there. It just means you're going in that direction. The sitting bones are going to stay anchored right on top of the chair. Here we go. Side bend and center. And side bend. You can breathe any way you want. You can inhale if you want. You can exhale if you want. Just breathe each time. One more time. Good. And then we'll open the arms and we'll twist double pop. One, two, and center. Switch, twist, twist, and center. Twist, twist. Center, twist, I need that Google calendar. Twist, twist, center, what? Center, twist, twist, center. Last two, I'm meeting somebody else. Twist, twist, center. One more time, twist, twist, center. Good, I want you to swing around, face this way. Like, I want to go out there and get that guy. Swing the arm back, rotate. Swing the arm forward. Drop, swing, and forward. Drop and swing, and forward. We're going to start to move our body with this, and forward. So when you come forward, I want you to lean into it, and then I want you to bring your body back. Rotate. Come forward. So use your trunk muscles to manage this. Back and forward and back and forward and back. One more time. Forward and back. Good. Do me a favor, grab your strap. Don't go away soon. Arms in front, bend this elbow, pull. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter so I have a little more tension. You're going to pull and pull. Little bow and arrow, right? Pull. Pull. Five more. Feel that right in the back of that right shoulder blade. Three. And two. And three. One, I'm going to make the strap longer so I can pull arms straight. So I'm going to pull back, twist, come back forward. Pull back, rotate, come back in. Pull back, rotate, come back in. Pull back, rotate. Let's stay back there. Rotate and little pulse for eight, seven, six. Pull your tummy in five. Four, three, two, and one, and in. So obviously, the tighter this is, the more work you're gonna get in the back of your shoulders, okay? So you, you do it wherever it feels good for you. Okay, center. Legs wide, hands on the forehead, side bends, over. If you can get a little closer to the leg. One more time. Good. Let's pick up the strap. Arms. Pull the strap back. We're going to twist. One, two, center. Twist, twist, center. Arms come with you. Twist, twist, center. Center. Twist, twist, center. Twist, twist, center. Two more. Twist, twist, one more time. Good. 
arms down. All right, so let's lift and down. And lift up and down. So I want your, your body to stay tall. It doesn't shift or bend. And your arms are gonna move around your shoulder, shoulder joint. And down. And up. And up. So what you don't want to do is, right, when your arms come up, you don't want to do that. All right? So keep your ribs and your hips organized. Move your shoulder joint. One more time. Lift up and down. All right, let's add the band. So here we go. We lift. So you're going to pull it apart just a little bit. And because you're holding it, you might be able to get your arms a little bit further back, right? So just you explore your range. Go where it feels okay for you. I can get way back here without my upper body adjusting, right? So I can go all the way back here without my ribs popping out. But I got to use my core muscles to keep that from happening. You may or may not be able to get your arms back that far. One more. And in. Good. Turn this way. Okay. So you're going to go forward. Body forward. Back. To lean, yeah, and then the reverse, and lean, and reach. Three more. Time. Holding here, holding here, okay, bow and arrow, pull. Adjust your tension to meet your needs. Pull. We're sliding right in the, the inside edge of that shoulder blade. Pull. Three. Longer. And it's going to come all, all the way back. I'm not twisting, right? My body's staying still. I'm pulling my arm away from the front. Three more. I will stay back on this last one. Little pulses. Two, three, four. Woo! I feel these. Seven and eight. And in. Strange man on my balcony. Pulling bricks off the building. All right, let's go to the front of the legs. Draw the feet close together. Bring the inner thighs really nice and snugly. So you're really hugging those inner thighs. You don't have to press or squeeze too hard, just nice, gentle tension between the inner thighs. And then we're going to pull back. Good. Eight. Seven. No neck. Six. If you're feeling your neck, you're doing it either too far or it's too tight. Seven. And good. Give me a little shoulder roll to the back. And here we're going to hold back and do little pulses. So pull back and little pulse two. Pull your belly button back towards the back of your body. Three, five more. Two and one. And release. Roll those shoulders back. Good. Let's place the strap underneath the right foot, and we're going to do some bicep curls. So I'm going to let my arm hang down, 
I'm gonna grab the strap. My foot's gonna keep it still from moving. So if I pretty much gather the strap up so it just has a tiny bit of slack from here, I should have a nice, good tension for my bicep curl. Do 10 here. Five more. Good, and now we're gonna rotate the arm out to the side. Externally rotate. Keep the upper arm next to your rib cage. And do 10 here. Five. I used to have this giant monitor. I could see everything really nicely. And now I have this tiny little laptop screen. Anybody have an extra monitor they don't want? <laughs> All right, let's go to a long arm now. So we'll go straight front. Let's practice. Straight up front, straight down. Okay. Straight up, straight down, and we'll also do it to the side, straight arm. So this is all working in this, uh, this rotator cuff stuff here, right? So if you start to feel any pain, you want to lighten up your tension, okay? Your hand is going to be like this, okay? So I'm going to test it. So I don't want to go much higher than this. I don't want to go here. Right, so this is not this is not quite enough tension for me. So I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. Yeah, and I want to be able to pull this up without doing that. Right? So this needs to stay quiet. And I need to be able to lift my arm bone, not up here. Okay. So let your shoulder blade in the back swing forward underneath so that you can lift your arm, not the whole side of your shoulder here. Up. Abs are still working. Two more. Now hold here, little pulses. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Hold, twist, turn. Twist, turn. Five of these. Ooh, your shoulder joints gonna be super happy after this. Two, and one, and down. Are you ready? Let's go side. Yes. Palm faces forward. You don't have to over grip. You kind of just stick that thing right in between your thumb there. You should be fine. Here we go. Up. Again, you're not lifting like this. Okay. Lift. So you keep an eyeball in your in your monitor, right? To make sure you're not dragging your arm up from your earlobe. Everybody's just in little teeny tiny boxes, so I can't really see you. Two more. Okay, so we're gonna add the pulses and the rotations, okay? Adjust accordingly. All right, here we go. So immediately just drop this down. So when the arm lifts, that doesn't come up with it. Hold here and little pulses up. Two, three, seven, eight, nine. Hold, rotate five times. Two, three, four, ah, five, and down. Yes. All right, so we're gonna change our arm configuration. The palm is gonna go backwards now. So grab your strap. Here you might need to make it kind of short, right? We're much stronger back here. So pull, it's a little too tight for me. Pull. Again, it's, you're not dragging from your shoulder. Three more. Draw on your abs. Good. Stay here. Little pulses. Ten. Eight. Seven. Six. Four. Hold it. 
twist, 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 twist. One more time. Twist, twist, and down. Woo! All right, let's do a little transition move. Back to here, legs are wide, side bends. Now, what I want you to do if you want to, I want you to lift your legs up if you want. to pull in all your deep core muscles here. One more time. Good. Arms out, twist. One, two, and center. Center. Twist. Center. One more set. Twist, twist, center. Center, pick up your strap. So let's see if there's any differences between the two sides. Hold, lift the arms up. You get a little bit more range out of the arm we just worked. It feels a little bit more uh, fluid, like those muscles got warmed up. One more time. Back. Starting with the biceps. So if I drop my arm down and make this almost completely taut. rotating from the uh, upper arm bone and tenodes. Thanks again, you guys, for reading the newsletter, following directions. I really appreciate it. Eight, two more. Nine, and ten. Good. All right, so now we'll go into the long arm. Let's try it here first. So you want to go shoulder height. You don't want to come up here. You don't want to lift your shoulder up to lift the arm up. You're going to go side and you're going to go back. Okay? Sherry got kicked out. Sherry's coming back in. If you came, are you back in, Sherry? Perfect. Lynn, can you mute your microphone? For some reason you're not muted. I changed the setting, and uh, for some reason I can't. Can't figure out how to fix that setting. Okay. Here we go. Straight arms. Palm here. Hang on. Don't hang on too tight. Here we go. Up and down. And lift. And lift. And make it a little tighter. I just want to go shoulder height. Three, two, hold on the last one, little pulses, 10. Keep your spine up tall. Don't let the pressure pull your spine down. Last two, hold, twist, two, three, four, last one, five, and down. Yeah, side. 
These, these are all, the side ones are always the hard ones, right? Um, especially if you have any kind of impingement here. So you may just want to do it without the, um, the band. Right, here we go up. Nice and smooth, don't rush it. Five. Looks good, three. Get ready to hold. Pulse, two, three, five, six, seven. Sit up tall, twist, one, two, three, four, five, arm down. Shorten it up, take it back for 10. That slow, steady movement, it helps build those muscle fibers all along the movement, right? So if you just go up and then let your arm drop, you're not gonna create any strength in between the two places. Three, two, tummy in, one. Good, hold back, 10, eight, seven, six, two, one, twist, two, three, woo, four, one more time, five, and down, yes. All right, let's go both hands. Take the band as wide as you like. Arms are gonna come up. If you can go all the way over, go ahead, all the way over. Remember to keep your body and your spine upright in between the arms. Lift. And over, one more time. Up, and then we'll get out of our arms. Nice, all right. Go ahead and just uh, lay that across your lap, bring your legs together. We're gonna lean back to the chair so you're not scooting all the way back to the back edge. You're just gonna lean back. Go ahead and hold the sides. Scoot your tuck, your tushy forward a little bit more and then we're gonna lift and lower. So you want to have a curled spine on this one. You wanna get that tailbone underneath you Okay, so we're not here, right? We're not here. So you're gonna draw in, curl in, lift. Lift, lift, scoop. Bringing my back ribs towards the chair. Hands are relaxed. Good, adding on, here we go, up. to lift, lift, curl, sit up. Don't fall off the edge. Tuck, curl back. Touch the chair. Lift the arms. Bring them forward. Lift up. Exhale, tuck, curl, lift, forward, lift up. Tuck, curl, reach, forward. Lift up, let's add a leg. Tuck, curl, lift the leg. Come on back up. Tuck, curl, I'm not gonna put my foot down. That's my choice, you can always put your foot down if you want to. Tuck, curl, lift, up, touch, one more time. Back, over, forward, up, and down. Yes? Switch sides. Back with the leg. Reach. Come up. Put the foot down if you like. You guys have to be quiet. Oh, the pleasures of being at home. Lift one more time. Nice, all right? Let's go 
Go back to that standing sitting, yes? Reach, hinge, stand. Hinge, slow. Now where your chair is, yes? Not falling on the floor. Hinge, stand. For those of you who want a little extra challenge, don't sit all the way down, okay? Here. Up. Stand. Reach. Shoot your sitting bones to the chair. Pull up your abs. Touch. Stand. You're using these big leg muscles and these big knee muscles. Here we go. Back. Down. Up. Back. Sit. Up. Last two. Back. Sit. Up. Woo. One more time. Back. Sit. Up. And stand. All right. Not wearing a watch, so I don't know what time. All right, we're going to start with uh, some light work on the side. So go ahead and stand up. You're going to use your chair for some support. Side. I don't want to try not to sink into your hip, right? Like this. So if you want to get right up against your chair so that you'll know whether you're sinking into your hip or not, right? You can do that. It's going to gonna put a, a demand on you, right? Because you won't be able to do that. Okay? Lift. I push the top of my chair into my hip so that I can't push the chair away. You don't have to do this, you can do it here. This just forces the alignment. Okay. Now, move away a little bit. I want you to touch front, lift your knee up, touch back. My body's not moving, my leg's not moving, my hips aren't moving, so I'm not holding at my hip. I'm standing up very tall, my leg is moving around my hip. Front, back. This leg's doing a lot of work. Front, back. So now we're going to start to keep the leg off the floor if you want. Front, back. Now I'm going to start to move my body forward. Forward. So I'm moving on my standing leg. Reach. Reach. Three more. Breathe it. And one. And front. Good. Face your chair. Walk back a little bit. Hit the back. A little stretch. We're going to let the knees go forward. Knees go forward, little bend. Four, three, tummy nice and tight. And two. And one. So that's in preparation for the heel lifts. So we're going to go. You're raising raise straight up and parallel, right? Strength in there. Lift. Work. Now your option is um, you can leave this out altogether. Otherwise, what we're going to try and do is go up. Then see how the knees go forward. Stand. Drop the heels. Lift up. Keep lifting the tummy. Let the knees go forward slightly. Come back up. So now our movement is happening in the knee and the ankle joint instead of in the hip joint where it was before. So the hip stays stable and still. 
and the knee and the ankle is what moves. And down, up. The ankle, up. One more time. Up, drop, lift, and lower. Good, switch sides. Go right up against the chair so I can't get lazy on that hip. Okay, ready? That's harder for me. My right leg is not as strong as my left. Doesn't make sense, right? Super challenging to not push this chair away. Lift. Goes out. Five more. Five. Four. Three, two, touch one. Good. Touch front. Touch back. Touch front. Oh, I'm going to move away. Sorry, move away a little bit. Touch front. Touch back. So you can stay here or you can pick up the leg. You definitely want those glutes happening when you get to the back. Squeeze those glutes front and back and front. Now we'll start to move on top of your standing leg. Forward. Reach back. Forward. Reach back. I would prefer you not let go of your chair. Reach back. Last three. Straight standing leg. Two. And back. And one. And back. Good. We'll go into turned out position. You don't have to have your legs right next to each other or they can be slightly apart. So this is an external rotation in the upper part of the leg. You're gonna lift and lower. Lift. Breathe out, lift up. Up from here. Last two, lift. One, good. Go ahead and let the knees bend forward and out slightly. So it's gonna look like this, I'm still turned out. It's a plie. Plie, keep those down. Plie, lift up. Two, lift up, one more time. Plie, lift up. All right, so here we go, up. Plie, straighten, bend. You'll notice my hips go Straight down, they don't go back nor forward. Yes? Knees and ankles, that's where your movement happens. And a little crease here in the front of the hip. And lift and lower. Up, lower down. Stand, this is what it looks like from the front. Up, down, stand. Lift, plie. Stand, try to stay on your toes if you can. Up, down, stand. Good. Let's walk backwards enough that we can fold here and get a nice little stretch. And tuck the tummy underneath you and round up. I'm going to actually turn my chair around so I can use the. Um, hands here. So you guys can use the seat of the chair, you can use the top, whatever, whatever works better for you. I just want to get a really nice fold here in my hip so I can get this stretch in. Swing your arm underneath you and your arm open. Swing your arm underneath. Swing underneath. And open one more time underneath and open. We'll go the other side. Under. Open. Under. Open. Check and make sure they're not out there. Open. Do a little cat cow. Hands on top.
Push your palms into the chair so you can feel this serratus activate. Now find that neutral spine. Don't let your tummy just fall to the floor. Pull it up towards the ceiling. Drop your front arm. Ready? You're going to go under and you're going to open. And when you open, I want you to let your knee bend, okay? So that you can really get that nice rotation. If you keep your legs straight, you won't be able to do that. Straighten the legs back out, go under. And then open and bend that leg. And go on. And inhale. And exhale under. And breathe in. And one more time, under. And again. Put both hands down, curl. Add on. Let's add a leg to this. So curl. Option. As the spine unfolds, you're going to extend the leg. And then you're going to bring your knee in if you like. Curl. And extend. Really sturdy hands on the chair. Curl. And extend. You got one more time. Curl. And extend. You can leave both legs down. Ready? Here we go. Other side. Curl. Knee comes in. And reach out and curl and reach out one more time curl and reach out good okay drop the back arm go underneath open up bend the knee inhale exhale go underneath open up bend the knee step five two more Last one. Under. Open. Both hands. Curl. Lift your tummy. Take the weight off your hands and come up to standing. Have a seat. Um, you need to sit away from the back so that we can do some upper back extensions. Okay, hands on the forehead. Prefer them to back here. I prefer them in the front. And you're going to let your chest lift. And then you're going to curl. And lift. So your movement's happening all in here. Okay. Lift. Inhale. Elbows are relaxed, hands are relaxed. One more time. And then we're going to do a little corkscrew effect. So take your arms down. So I want you to go over to the side, go corkscrew around to the front, over to the side, to the back. and sit up, and then we'll switch it, yes? So you'll go over, you'll go back. Down, go this way. So all your movement my band just to show you, right? So all this movement is coming right from where the green band is, right? So if I go, if I go around, you're going to feel that, that movement happening right in here, right? So I go over, forward. So everything down here stays upright, and I'm rotating around 
basically around my organs, right? My intestines, kidneys, liver, gallbladder, all that stuff. We're going around all that stuff. And last time. So you're going to go forward, back, or around. And up, okay? Now you're gonna do it with your hands here. So we're massaging our um, lower organs here. Not so much heart and definitely lungs, not so much heart, a little bit. So stay lifted, bring the ribs forward, go to the side, go back, keep breathing. Get up, curl. Corkscrew, breathe, get up, one more each way, curl, corkscrew, back, around, get up, last time, curl, corkscrew, oh. and sit up, Woo. arms down, Take your strap, bring it behind your back, hang on to the sides, extend the arms, feel the strap right in the mid back there, right in the mid back. That's gonna allow you to get a little bit of an extension. So you're gonna reach and lift, and then come in. Reach and lift, inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale, exhale, curl. Open, curl, two, Curl, one more time. Open and in and curl. Good. Strap goes, legs wide, hands on the insides. I'm gonna move back a little bit because I'm gonna make sure that I don't fall off the chair. We're gonna roll all the way down towards the floor. So drop the head, curl forward, roll down. Roll back up. So when you get towards the floor, you're gonna get this really nice lower back release as long as your tummy is engaged and you're not just kind of falling over your legs, right? So move your spine, drop. Tuck, roll. Started, hands on the forehead. I'm going to move up a little bit, feet are wide. Uh, it feels a little easier now, like you can get a little bit further. A little more open. Breathe. Other side. Great. All right, I'm going to end the recording.